spend 23 dollars here welcome to our latest clan war we are in a clan war with bulgaria a pretty decent war clan by all accounts they have 150 wins to their name or is it 140 certainly more than we do so they must be pretty good in the clan wars that's what's happened up till now uh, there has been no three stars on any of the max bases and I'm pretty certain, call it a hunch, there will be no three stars on any of our max bases. Unfortunately we do have two very low bases in this clan war so there is a chance that they will be three starred. But the reason for this video today is many of these anti three star bases do have a, a special feature which is a gap of four spaces uh, that is supposed to be designed to stop you jumping. If you look where these wizard towers are, they all have an extra gap next to them and that is to prevent you using a jump spell to both jump in and out of that space. Now, statistically, it does say that this jump spell should be able to cover that four spaces. And I've never tried it before, so today, live, I'm going to try it in my clan war attempt. Now, I'm not too worried that we will lose if this jump spell fails. I'm pretty certain with the town halls and anti three stars the way that they are, the two star is still going to be pretty simple. So I don't think I'll be costing the clan any trophies. I just need to get rid of a few archers. I always have a few extra cooked up. It's really frustrating when people say that they can't make you archers, their camps are full. So I always have a full, uh, at least six ready, and then I'll swap them later just like that for a wizard, because that's what I want to use for this wall attack. So let's get in there. Let's go and see if we can jump this gap. Uh, have you guys ever tried it? If you have, let me know. It will make uh, getting high percentages on these anti three star bases a lot easier. Although I think these anti three star bases are about to change. Uh, I think there'll be a whole new set of bases going to be used soon. So I think I'm going to jump in where this wizard tower is. So I'm going to try and jump in and jump out and go straight to that town hall. Let's have a look who we've got. So just one pecker, four golem, three witches, and a golem in the clan castle. Shouldn't be too much of a problem this. Let's go for it. Right, I'm going to stick my jump just here. I'm assuming slightly towards the camp rather than towards the town hall should do this. And that doesn't look right to me. That doesn't look close enough to the camp. It looks like a failed jump. Let's try it. No, the golems are not interested. They are not going to use it. That jump spell is in the wrong place. Failure for Mr. Dollars. Okay, so I'll, these wiz wizards should clear some of these buildings. I'll jump in. Has this one worked? Again, that looks like a failure. I'm sure that is a little bit closer. Oh dear. Okay, so none of our jump spells have worked to get us in. Oops, that happens to me all the time. I've got my witches out at the top. I don't want them to go inside. I don't want them near these multi-infernos or bombs. This town hall should go down fairly easily. We have broken in through the wall. The jump out has worked. That's not a problem. Get my rage on. Get my lightning on these clan troops. Everybody's jumping in here. What's going on? Pekka, will he jump the next wall? I guess they should do, yes. So the jump out is fine. It's the jump in that we are failing on. So I don't think, oh, better get the king's ability, don't want to miss that. I think we should get the two stars here, shouldn't be too much of a problem. We've still got plenty of golems alive. I'll use my other jump just next to this inferno, just to get a few extra buildings. There we go, the two stars. No worry, but the jump has not worked. So we're going to have to try this again in our next attack. Uh, maybe I needed to zoom in a little bit more, I don't know. But if one of you guys has figured out where to place it so that it works regularly, obviously it's no good if it only works sometimes. It needs to be reliable. You don't want to be using something not so reliable in a war attack. What should we do with our final troops? So I think if I just get a wizard down on this laboratory, get my archers down on this barracks, that should distract the mortar for long enough and maybe we'll get two extra buildings. Always nice to get our averages up, so let's try this. Get the wizard somewhere here. The good thing about these anti three star bases is you know there is no traps outside. Nobody puts traps outside anymore. I think that's possibly going to change over the next week or so. Let's wait and see. We've got both buildings, 64% two stars, so that's not bad. But I don't think you're ever likely to get three stars, or it's going to be very difficult to get three stars with that attack strategy. But if you just go through all the bases, two star them first, that gives everybody else a chance to give it a go for three stars. There's my two stars added to the pot. And we'll try that again on another similar four space base. 
Okay guys, so I did go back, I found base number two was very similar, not the same layout but pretty much the same walls. I tried to jump in again and as you can see, I made the very same mistake. But this time something interesting happened. As I collected these wizards around, breaking down some of these buildings, the queen comes in, she takes down first the wizard tower, then she goes for the mortar, and then after this she's going to go for the cannon. Now these golems are clearly ignoring this jump spell, it's clearly not in the right place, or so it would seem, but the queen, she thinks it is, she thinks that's a legitimate jump spell, and she has used it. She's jumped in, and she's taking the town hall. I don't know the reason for that, I have seen similar things happen before, let me know, yo, you guys, if you've had some experience with this. I've seen the king uh, ignoring jump spells and hitting the wall instead, whilst Valkyries jump over. But if you guys know something that I don't, feel free to let me know in the comments. It would be most interesting to find out just what the situation is with jump spells. Or maybe there just is some random situation. Or it could be, depending on what is behind the jump spell, it could be whether the golems are trying to target something slightly different or slightly off to the, the side. But maybe with a little bit of practice we can find out what that is. But again, we didn't have too much problem getting the two stars. We have plenty of firepower here. Golems are still alive. Still got a couple of wizards, a couple of archers left. So I think I just threw them down in the corner again. Try and get a few extra points. Here we go. Wizards down. Golems are down. And that's still 60%. So not a bad effort. If somebody wants to come in behind and try and three star that, no problem. So guys, I might as well show you what happened throughout the rest of this war whilst we are here. So I did mention earlier, I suspected there would be some hybrid three-star attempts on our two lowest bases. This one, this is attacks base. His gold mines are actually lower than my town hall. Seven gold mines. He is very susceptible to three-star attacks. His heroes are not high. But despite all that, he is a great war attacker. We have seen him take down base number one even though he has these low level heroes. But unfortunately it could be he will have to sit out some clan wars until his base is a little bit more upgraded because people do go for him every time to try and get the three star. And it does only take one three star to win a clan war, especially now. So this start is working out pretty good for our friend Krasi Ferreren. He's trying to get in here. He needs to take down the defensive queen, if possible the multi inferno, the town hall, and the clan troops. If he can achieve that, then when he sends in the rest of his troops, he does stand a reasonable chance of getting the three star. So you were obviously watching this attack with bated breath live when you when it starts, thinking, here comes the hybrid. Will this be a three star attack? The queen's on the town hall, use the special ability, and you know that this town hall is going down. Balloons are going down, and here we go. Here comes the full attack. Hybrids are coming in. So this air sweeper, this is the first real defense by this air sweeper in a clan war. Whether or not that's actually making this attack more difficult, it's quite hard to say. It does seem to be pushing the hounds back, maybe behind the loons, causing them to be targeted a little bit more. But these rage spells are perfectly placed. These loons have stayed within the rage pretty much throughout the attack, which has meant that this village has been virtually destroyed already and we've still got 1 minute 20 to go. Plenty of balloons left, plenty of lava pups, only three defences. Just got to get rid of this archer tower, the Tesla, and that cannon isn't going to be able to do anything at all. Here they go, can they get these final defences down? Air defences down, cannon don't need to worry about that, so they just need to make sure they get the Tesla. The Tesla's going to go down, oh no, it's going to be a three star. We'll speed it up now. This is a depressing scenario when you're watching this and you know you're about to be three starred and this one attack could cost you the entire clan war. But wait, look at the time. 10 seconds to go. Will these balloons make it over in time to help? Doesn't look like they're going to get there. It's all down to the lava pups. One second. No, they didn't do it. 99%. And it's the end of the clan war, guys. This is live. This is the final attack. There's about one minute to go. And Crassy Forin has managed to get in his final attack. So by the time this attack finishes, the clan war will have ended. And unfortunately, I have to tell you, we will probably have lost. One of our bottom bases was three-starred in the end. 
Um, and we didn't manage to pull any three stars. I don't think any of our team are attacking right now. We had only one, two attacks actually available and the player was unavailable to do them. So Krassi Foran, who did a 99% hybrid attack earlier on on one of our bottom bases, is now going in, trying to do a hybrid on our top base, Galadon's fully maxed village. Now, personally, I'm, I used to be worried when one of these attacks would start out because it meant it was almost sure you were about to be three starred. Something tells me this isn't going to be a three star. I'm not particularly concerned, although I could be proven wrong. I don't believe this is going to be anywhere near a three star. I think this is going to look pretty much like all of the three star attempts that we do when we try the hybrid attack and it's going to probably be a one star or even a fail which would be uh, well it doesn't really matter we're going to lose this clan war anyway so well done to bulgaria i'm pretty certain you're about to win unless a miracle is happening whilst we're watching this but um, i don't think you're going to be able to three star another so let's see how this air pusher does it don't know if this is really helping this defense or not it's very difficult to say i've got a video coming out soon on where i think you should be putting these air sweepers i think there is a certain after watching a lot of replays there seems to be a certain place you can put them where they are being more effective after i went around asking do you have any replays of an air sweeper causing you to win a defense but that video will be up probably in the next few days but let's get back to this. It's Krassi Foran. He's trying to get a three star very last attack of this war against Galadon. And it doesn't look like what's he got left. He's got a giant and a goblin. Well, judging by the amount of defenses left in this base, a giant and a goblin is not going to three star this village, which is a very different outcome to what you would have probably seen last week. 44% and that's a fail. But do I dare press this button and go back to the war page to find out what has actually happened. War has ended. Uh, we have lost 40 to 41. So we lost to a three star on one of our bottom bases. Unfortunately, we're going to have to leave those two guys out of clan wars. Although they're great attackers, their defenses are just not good enough. But it was a good war. Uh, we two starred everything with 10 spare attacks to go, but we couldn't pull off a three star. Thank you so much for watching guys, please do like, comment and subscribe and share these videos with your friends. I'll be in Switzerland all week, but I do have some more videos which will be uploading for you. So do not miss the new troll based defences and we'll also be taking a detailed look at where to put your schnozzle. Thanks so much for watching, I'll speak to you soon. Send everyone!